Hello everyone, welcome back. So, in this session, we will learn about state and difference between crops and state and types of hooks. So, these are the things which we will cover right now in this session. So, coming to state, as I said, tell you, it's used for the data management. Props is used to transfer the data, but state is used to storing the data. What are the data if you want to transfer or else uh, store in that particular component which is help of state that is the main difference you can say props means it is used to transfer the data from parent component to child component where state it will store the data for every component irrespective of parent child anything so i will tell you few one example for the state component uh, let me grab it so let me take one component state.js and inside that imr so import react from react and i will use function counter as a function where we will use counter example now so export default function so we will export the thing anything else we have missed nothing in the function only we have to know return statement where in return we will give html and all the things so for now i will tell you in detail h1 uh, like h2 what is that we will use uh, let me first use div so that div we will use and inside div we will use h2 in h2 you will use as a count so whatever you are giving counter function you will get it count here and beside h2 i need button means whenever i am clicking the button whenever i am clicking the button the counter should work so i will give on click which is an uh, how we are giving click handler in event javascript add event listener dot click like that only i will remember your example in javascript how we will use add event listener and i will write here function and here write click same like that but here we will use on click function on click function is different apart from that so i will tell you what is the to on, on click we will use here uh, so the function which will go open with quotations inside that function we will go with arrow functions and i will use initially i will create a state state syntax is nothing but this one only one line syntax but we will show you everything what is that Co constant i will use in in array i will use count comma set count i can use state set state like that i can use here i will use use state as a hook so it's imported directly see it's an empty array means nothing but uh, we are doing here count as a variable and set count is updated variable when we, when i'm kicking the data okay so whenever i kicks the data here it will change the value of count from set count so initially if you want if you give is initial count as a zero this is the use state which is hook which is help the react it tells the react to change the count value with the set state which is an updated value it's a function set state so uh, let me explain you here also mm, like state this is the value and this is the updated value okay that is what we are written here to add confusion i have given here this is the inside the bracket we are giving the import uh, initial value 
how you will give in uh, javascript you will get count equal to 0 like that you will give but here constant count set count equal to use state equal to 0 that is how you will give so here you will use count as dynamic data count see that count value i am triggering here so what you want to do on click of set count set count here we will use for the function what it will do count plus 5 to avoid i will tell you 5 and inside the button i want to give here increment by 5 so let me keep it inside the pattern only we have to keep okay so some age index is the correct written okay is the function okay here export default not function counter function name we have to give right hmm. now that counter i will use in app.js by importing it import counter from dot slash counter dot js where i have given counter dot js state dot js sorry so i need no need of that thing dot components slash state dot js now that counter i will remove these which are not needed now closing tag okay now if you can see ui part there is an error use state is a function counter that neither react function nor a custom hook so react component must start with an uppercase react hook must start with an word use so somewhere we have given error in the state.js so react use state from react okay function counter function should be capital that's what they are saying and here also okay object with keys found if you want to render a collection of children use array instead okay what are we doing count with the set count use state do h2 within count of not object only one thing we need it that is the issue with uh, automatic sometimes okay now we got it so whenever i increment see this is i'm getting it if you console the set state if you console the count it will change the values that's what we are getting here right count for example console dot log of count comma count you can't console the set state set count because it's a function so you want only you have to only do it this thing so when you console refresh it 5 it is, 0 it is there 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 see so this is what called set state means the state value the value which is dynamically changing and also storing in that one in props how it is your you are changing the static data means you are transferring the data from one point to another point here you are changing the data for example if you want to change that uh, means if you want to do here uh, send the data you can send it data you can also do that thing you can try that it's the same issue is uh, uh, means the same thing is nothing but state management here state management we will use the use state hook which is a hook which we will use from react functional components only hooks only used make sure hooks only used in functional components okay used only in functional components so hooks only used in the functional components so never ever try it in the class component because class components we have so many things like constructor destructure and everything if you know hoops concept 
so to avoid those and everything and to make the less code and the result and more optimization as in that thing we got in hooks concept from the react 16 version where you are using now as a one of the uh, hook version which is use state okay and let's say that is what we called as a use state now we will learn about use effect hook and use ref and what is the prop drilling also will let you know so now let's go with an um, use effect so let me create an example for that so i will use this one only but here i will change the data i will use the same component or else to avoid confusion i will delete it no 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 not this i will delete the state where is the component oh it's excluded okay my word npm start so you're starting the server and you are deleting the state now no up to deleting up to here we no need of this thing we will create it from scratch but here with the help of heroes we will use the use effect these many effects are there and these many hooks are there so we will use mostly the important hooks right now and remaining hooks we can use in the following project so use effect is this thing so now let's create one function here so that you can check it use effect is used for the data fetching simple how we are using in the free javascript here also see everywhere concepts are same but the syntax is different that's what i said so here also to data fetch we will use the use effect that's it nothing more than that how you use in javascript you will use the fetch data and you will use that thing and you will render the data here fetching the data we will do here uh, fet fetch data from dummy api so before that i will use the basic statement return i will return it and export default data fetching and what else i have to return the statement i have to use semicolon and what is that showing uh, let me close this uh, unexpected token is there where it is where 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 so I think everything looks fine but better write everything here mm. I think somewhere we have missed it or else syntax is correct only right okay okay error function and return the statement I am returning the statement, ok, flow braces only, mm, let me use div here, no need of this, yeah everything looks fine, any, any misses we have done. Unexpected token, ok we are not using here constant, constant error function means you have to use constant yeah everything looks now fine mm. so my bad now here it's fine now let's what i told data everything logic here and html here so i want to render the data of any to do list or anything let's first render get the data from a backend which is we are using from dummy api from a server side from google free source but in the future we will use that node.js thing which is coming from the backend so 
here how we'll use the backend thing means where and how we are detailing we are using it i will tell you so whatever the data means whatever the api we are getting we have to store it in one constant variable constant state so i will use data comma set data make sure this d should be capital now i will use u state in that u state we will get array of objects so i will use array okay now after that i will use use effect where it will have three phases of component cycle i will tell you in detail how it is the component life cycle and everything so for now you can grab this this is the use effect thing and i will use the first data and after that we are using dot then response which is response dot json and data from api set data from api or else dot catch error i think it looks good and you can remove this okay so here what i have done i have given uh, don't worry this is an uh, ai interface tab 9 so that whatever your coding is uh, let me show you that's why it's giving for me you can grab that from the extensions here tab 9 okay it's an ai auto complete it will complete the code so that for our developers it makes it so fast see for this it will take at least 2 minutes for me or else one and a half minute but now it's became as in seconds that's how we will use it tab 9 mm, so now use effect is nothing but fetching the data where is fetching the data this is an api and that data we will get in a response dot then promise based which we have learned in a asynchronous flow once you got it we are jsoning the data and then you are date forming that like using that result as a set data like data from api you are using as a set data from api and then that using as a catch uh, if in case it's not getting you will use the catch error form so how i want to return here i will use ul tag insert that ul tag i want to return like mapping data dot map map means like looping only here we will use map that's it nothing more than that here we don't use loops instead of that we will use map okay don't forget these things uh, these are the main things which i am saying now i think everything is looks fine so if i go there see so for example now console dot log of data comma data so this is a api uh, let me copy it and show you this is a dummy api and this is see this is an array and this is the objects inside that array what do you have user id id title body okay and now i have different different ids and different different user ids and the titles are different and body this is this data will be coming from back end whenever you are doing it this data will be coming from back end only so don't worry about that in the front end we have to do that sh to, to show it in the ui part for the user which is called user integration means integration from the back end ui integration you can see so now for ui integration what will you do just you are fetching the data once you get see the console here you will you will get the data see you will get the list of data everything sorry this is element now if you refresh it see first initially the state what we have initially empty data right after that you are getting the count is 100 what are that array of objects as you can see there once i'll zoom it see this is an array and inside that array i have n 100 number of objects so to show that 100 number of objects how will you do you have to do like this 
means you, you will we will use u state where in the u state sorry in the u state we will save the data and that data we are consoling here but that data we will use mapping to integrate in the html this is the syntax of mapping nothing which is coming from state dot map and we are taking as one each element as an item like how in for loop i will i will take i as a initial as a zero like that and then i am integrating that directly inside this key value item dot id means key means it is an unique value for example if you can see here in the data see key means id id is separate for everyone for example if you check here 68 and control f you will have see only one see only 168 nothing for example if you see 99 if it is there only one it is there see only one but here id is different don't confuse user id and id okay id is a unique one and user id for example i have six i have 30 numbers in that only one this is the id remaining if you see these are the user ids like 26 not 26 all this this is the user id see so like that you have to check first initially console the data and check the data and based on that you have to loop the data and you will get it so once you got it so this is the output we are getting these are the hundred number of user names which are titles for example if you don't need title and you need body okay just simple remove this body in your you will get body see no need to change anywhere in HTML how you will do so you have to change for 100 or 200 anything but here you no need to change anywhere for example you need user ID user make sure the key should be equal so you will copy it and you you can paste it here user capital ID once you go and UI 1112223344567899 like that for example if you don't uh, you want to test for any other API you can for dummy APIs means it's a random text you will get in JSON placeholder you can take fake test so this is the API you can copy these are the to do's control C first you can paste here you can check see user ID name title and completed so I will control C I will paste it control V now what I need user ID name title so I will take title see what is the title here deluctus octorum something here aeroporo something right see if you see here deluctus art forum and you see aeroporo fourth one and here you can see fourth one is error one that is how what is the use of use effect use effect is nothing but you are making the changes like uh, showing the data by ref uh, refreshing that and you are showing everything I hope you got it clarity about use effect now let's go with the uh, another thing what we have use ref so I will tell you what is the user of you will use the same component let's delete delete so this is the thing I don't want to waste the time here so I am using here so here ref means I will tell you so ref input ref I will use common thing equal to use ref so use ref we will use here okay now you can get focus on the input element when the component mounts means like I will tell you focus on input element you got it right nothing I will tell you focus on input element in the component mounts mounts means um, I will tell you in detail what is that um, class what uh, life cycle of uh, components which will covered in the next next class what is life cycle and components right now you can check here use effect we are using uh, for now you can concentrate on the user of what is the usage that's it so if you can check here 
and go back with an empty array input ref dot current dot focus here it is and I'm returning the statement what I want to return input tag where in the input tag I want to give so you need you know right input tag you can give like this or else how I can give like this in HTML it's different you no need that closing tag right so make sure that you remember it ref I will use ref is a keyword where I will use here input ref this thing so once you go there see whenever see this is out of the focus uh, let me give some styling also mm, so let me ask class equal to ref input sorry class name that is the issue we will do ref input I will use it so if you want I can give globally for now I will give it as a globally so margin 3 rem dot see margin 3 rem it's applied once you inspect it once you check that inspect that element you can see margin 3 rem okay so once you refresh the element you can see it's focused see blue border it is there but if I click on outside it's not a focus so that is what we have given means by default if you want to use anything persistent of instead of DOM rendering which is called as ref so to be simple in one line how we have I have given like use statements uploading the steering the data I will tell you user so it's used for reference of the input element nothing more than that means for example uh, persisting the values whenever we are rendering in the DOM structure for a see uh, let me show you in inspect see here elements whenever I'm refreshing these elements are rendering this is called uh, DOM and this is rendering so to make it persistent even though it is rendering but I want to show the values which I have given after re-rendering also that is called persisting persisting means stopping like that mean stopping means like uh, restricting I am I am restricting the things so here in the with the help of use ref I am restricting the input value to be focus only so that's what we happening here use ref is used to persist the values so here I am persisting the input value to the focus until after it's DOM rendered also that is the use of use ref okay now let's go for the next thing which we are using is prop styling <coughs> nothing prop styling is easy concept is nothing more than that I have told you right props means what is props tell me what is props props is nothing but transferring data to parent to child okay for example uh, let me open neat, neat one this is grandparent and this is another parent so this is parent to this child so this should be parent for another child right this will be parent for another child this will be parent for another child and this will be parent for another child okay so if you want means props means from here like uh, uh, like see let I'll tell you for example props means here you have data okay uh, p1 okay p2 p3 p4 p5 okay props means nothing but if you want to transfer the data from p1 to p2 
okay that is one props so if you want to transfer from p2 to p3 that is a parent and p3 is the uh, child of p2 p4 is the child of p3 and uh, p5 is the child of p4 so my question here is what in case relation between p5 and p1 okay that's simple nothing more than that uh, like uh, it's a simple like it will become as a grand grandparent how grandfather we have like that only here like uh, here it will be if you want to transfer p1 to p4 or else from p2 to p3 or from p3 to p2 these to transfer the data you can't directly transfer the data uh, from p1 to p5 directly because there is no relation between p5 to p1 to p5 here there is only relation between p1 to p2 from p2 to p3 p3 to p4 so indirectly p5 is relation to p1 but there is no direct relation to transfer the data so if you want to transfer the data to grand grandchild component from the parent you have to do from p1 to p2 p2 to p3 then p3 to p4 and p4 to p5 and that use should be used here so this is called as props drilling nothing more than that so props drilling is okay uh, this is called props drilling drilling you know right drilling is nothing but it will drill from one place to another place means it's digging under the ground like that so here we are digging the data from here to here sending the data from parent let's uh, assume is a parent as a ground and p5 is a sub underground sub level ground so underground so that what happen if you want to transfer means it will drill the data it will from p1 to p5 okay that is the what meaning of props drilling so mostly we won't use the props drilling uh, so instead of transferring the data from one to here unnecessarily we will transfer directly that is the concept we will have in the further classes of state redux and means redux concept and context api we will use there so state management of that one global state management we will say that in the further classes so i hope you got a clarity about what is props in the last session and state in this session and uh, what is the use of use state and uh, you got a clarity of the props and set state uh, sorry props and state and uh, hooks of the state use effect use ref so calling the data and everything you got an idea right yeah that's it for this session and uh, further topics will be continued in next session thank you